Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This chest looks like a normal chest, but it is not. If I open it up, we'll see there's a little scene that I've drawn out of blocks in this chest. Except this isn't a scene, this is actually the entirety of Minecraft encapsulated within this chest. You can move around by clicking on the sides of the chest. Uh, you can jump by clicking at the top. If you want to jump to the side, you just click in the corner. You can sort of bunny hop everywhere. I built a little house over here. Uh, it's got some nice carpets. Climb up the ladder. Can't actually access this chest, but there's a lot you can do. So I'll climb back down by clicking at the bottom. Uh, not only can you move around, but you can do things like break blocks. So let's punch this tree. If I click enough times, I will get these wood logs in my inventory. Then I'll open my inventory and here we've got these oak logs. I'll put them in my crafting bench and I get oak planks. Let's get, make some sticks. So first thing I always do, first tool I always make, wooden pickaxe. So now that I've got a wooden pickaxe, I can actually mine some stone. Let's grab a little bit more wood for later. Uh, all right, so just kind of run around the world. There appears to be some sort of cave down here. Of course, we don't want to dig straight down. It's the first rule of Minecraft. So we'll dig down uh, sort of a little bit to the side. Actually, it is okay to dig straight down if you can see the blocks below you. Um, because you can actually see beyond one block, but um, oh, this is gravel. Uh, you can actually place blocks. Oops. Yeah, you can't keep clicking in the same direction. Okay, so this is some water over here. Uh, let's open my inventory and let's place some of this dirt block. So to place a block and select you want to place it, you pick it up and then put it on this dispenser. And then when you go over here to place it, you can just put the block down. Uh, let's see, there's some water there. Over here, we've got some stone. So I don't have a stone pickaxe yet, so I'm gonna need some stone. I think I do have some, oh, I know, I need one more cobblestone. So one more cobblestone. Uh, I can't mine this iron ore yet because I don't have a, a, a cobble pickaxe. So let's go ahead and make one. Use my remaining two sticks. And there we go, now I've got a stone pickaxe. I can grab, whoops, one, two, three, it's interesting, all the, oh, I see, I double clicked the blue, hmm, double clicked the blue glass panes and they all kind of disappeared. But if I, there we go, <laughs> now they're all back. Uh, I guess that's a little bug. Oh, this open inventory is really flashy. So I've got three iron ingots now. I can make like a iron pick, but I actually want to make a bucket. Um, so this water over here, let's go ahead and mine away this dirt. So this water over here, uh, I can pick it up with my bucket. Just click on the source block. Notice all the other water just sort of goes away. Can't go over there because this dirt block's in the way, but right, it was just a dead end anyway. So this water is of course placeable. Let's see, let's open my inventory. Uh, I need to get out of here. Oh, whoops, that's not what I do. There we go. Uh, so let's let's see if we can get out of here. I'm gonna actually have to like dig up the hard way, aren't I? Um, but uh, once I once I do get up here a little bit, I can actually make uh, or put this water bucket back down and show you it's actually functioning water. In fact. This is probably high enough. Let's try it from here. So let's go ahead and select that I want to place the water bucket and just click right here and then the water will flow downhill. And you'll notice it pushes us along. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of floatiness there. But yeah, it's pushing us along. Uh, it's real, real water with real flowing water. I can kind of swim back up it and then I just click on this to pick it back up and we're good to go. Oh yeah, gravel. I haven't placed any gravel yet. Let's try that. Show you that the gravel works just like you'd expect. Plop it up here and it sort of falls down. Oops. Oh, I think I put it on top of myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, all right, I think I ran out of gravel. Yeah, I ran out of gravel, but uh, uh, that's okay. So it is the entirety of Minecraft. Well, of course not really, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bunch of Minecraft features and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, of course, what's actually going on is, if you haven't guessed it yet, armor stand. There's an armor stand over here. Uh, you may notice this looks very familiar. So this is taking a slice of my Minecraft world and rendering it into the chest. So it looks at the blocks around the uh, armor stand, uses the slash loot command, uh, sort of like my slopes uh, data pack the other day, last week. I guess uh, it uses the loot command to take figure out what block is out here and what the corresponding block is that would need to go inside of a chest for that sort of for that block, and so it teleports this armor stand around left and right and up and down as I move it around. 
Uh, I have a special inventory system and a special like crafting system. Uh, so there's actually only <laughs> what you've seen here is basically the blocks that you can get in your inventory. Um, and then the crafting I used, I think I used every single crafting, crafting recipe I've actually implemented. There is, there's not actually an iron pickaxe crafting recipe. So I had to custom implement those. Uh, it's a very, it's honestly a very limited system, but, uh, but it's enough to, to look pretty cool just for, you know, just for a little video. There's no mobs or anything, uh, though that would be cool to add. I, I don't know. I might, I might go about expanding this. Here's that house we saw at the beginning. You can see that even though there's a bed with sort of two blocks, there was actually only one bed block in the, uh, in the chest. And that's because when you use a slash loot command on the head of the bed, it drops a, a bed, but on the foot it doesn't. And uh, there's that, these glass panes. These glass panes are really actually very hard to see. <laughs> they don't really render except at the very top and very bottom pixel, but that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much how it works. It was, it's, it's very clued together. It's very hacky, um, but it's not super hard to add more like crafting recipes or, or blocks or whatever, stuff like that. Um, but I, I mostly just wanted to, to show you guys uh, this was uh, inspired by a Reddit post. You can see it on screen now, and uh, I thought I thought it was a really cool idea, and I just wanted to expand on it. So, uh, thanks to that Reddit user for the idea. And if you want to download this, uh, you can download the world and try it out for yourself. There's a link in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching.